like life and death, moon and sun, it's sure to each the piper comes. And while God and Goddess give for free, down below there will be fees. Despite perfect love and perfect trust, there's no way around it, cash is a must. We've sought within, but come up short, so we come to thee, your help to court. If you would aid this temple's life, a three dollar donation would be nice. Remember well that gifts when sent, return threefold of what was spent. But if you can't, well blessed be, we shall survive, so mote it be. Merry meet and welcome to week nine of Wicca, a year and a day in magic. I'm Lady Nazis, and this week we'll be learning about the element of fire. Now, fire is the second element that we invoke when we are casting our circles, and it is the element in the south. Now, positive qualities of fire are courage, idealism, fidelity, imagination, leadership, transformation, fertility, determination, and energy. Now, there are negative qualities to fire, and those are addiction, anger, cruelty, domination, jealousy, rebellion, aggressiveness, and violence. Now, fire's color is obviously red, <laughs> and the elemental tool is the wand, or in other traditions, the athame, or the sword, but of course this varies on tradition. Now raise fire energy in your circles by dancing, or if you have the space, and if you're safe enough to do so, create a ritual bonfire. Now a fire season is obviously summer, and you may associate it with Lissa or Beltane. Now Beltane's in our spring, but it's the start of the Celtic summer. Now on your altars, along with the wand or the sword, depending on your tradition, a candle may also symbolize fire. Now, are there any fire gods and goddesses? Yes, you can view any sun goddess or god, such as Lu, Ra, Sekhmet, or Ane. And there are also fire goddesses, such as Bridget. Or there are also gods and goddesses associated with blacksmithing, because the art of blacksmithing is associated with fire, such as Lu, Hephaestus and Bridget. Now, each element has its own elemental being. For fire, it is the salamanders. Now, like the lizards of the same name, salamanders appear in lizard form, or sometimes even as lizard humanoids. <laughs> now, just like the reptiles of our realm sit in the sun to regulate their body temperature, fire salamanders do much the same. The sun is a fantastic energizer, hence, solar panels. Now, to find salamanders to go work with in magic, go to the beach or any other sun-drenched area during the hottest part of the day, but you can also find them in a bonfire or in the flame of a candle. When working with fire elements, remain calm and carry water crystals, such as jade or fluorite. Now, you can usually only work with them for a short period of time due to the fact they cannot lose their fire source. They will remain in a fire as long as it burns. Now, after working with them, wash your face with cold water. This is to avoid feeling irritable from all the fire energies. Now, why work with fire salamanders? Well, they can foster courage and determination and confidence in you. Now, remember, it's always important to respect the element that you're working with. And now fire has astrological signs as well. These are Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Now next week we move into the west of the circle to learn about the element of water. Now your assignment for this week is how has fire affected your life? Have you ever been burned? Or have you ever used fire to get rid of something negative in your life? I hope you haven't been burned. <laughs> now until next week, Blessed be.